of things I should try to find a support group. Someone dealing, you know, people dealing with the same thing that I'm dealing with with my mom. So, what do I do? I don't push the issue about eating. Yesterday she actually left the house for the first time in a month. She went for a walk, short one, down to the mailbox, just a short walk, 10 minutes. It's better than nothing, but she still didn't eat dinner. She still had breakfast in the morning, and then, so she's still only eating a few hundred calories. I don't push it. She wouldn't eat dinner. I don't push it. She's still going to waste away to nothing. Her mu muscles are all atrophying, whatever you call that, and it's, it's killing me 24-7. Um, but drinking fluids, that's another matter entirely. Even when seniors are perfectly mentally okay, it says online you should you should get they, they, they lose their sense of thirst, so you need to push them to drink. Not drinking enough can be like, like worse than eating. It can really be potentially deadly. And if her secret desire, like I said to Joe's, if her secret desire is to die, well, you're far more likely to, you, you, you're wasting away to nothing, you're not being chronically dehydrated and whatnot. You're far more likely to not die to get seriously like injured or something, Mom, again. You want that. I told her primary care physician everything. I went to the dentist yesterday, had a cleaning. And they, I said, you know, if you... I, I said how my mom started crying and saying, I can't. When I said, if you ever had an ounce of love for me, you would drink these eight ounces of water. I thought, based on everything I was saying to them, they would send the police here just to, you know, the worst worst case scenario, that they don't do anything. They, they didn't. They didn't. So, I've done everything that I can do. All right? If my mom is, they're not going to, you know, they probably would take the doctor more seriously, but, you know, if mom makes it that far, she has appointments next week for a psychiatrist and to see her primary care physician. But, you know, I'm going to start just going outside and screaming bloody murder if she tries to skip these appointments and then nobody comes here to the house. Even that friend over there said, you know, you can, you should be able to arrange for someone if... To, to come to this house. And, but again, anyone who doesn't know my mom's baseline can come to the house, see her up and dressed, and did you eat today? Yeah, I had a bowl of, you know what I mean? I know, I'm in continuous like this because I know she's in danger. And again, if we wanna just spell it out bluntly, if 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 you truly are trying to, to, to not live anymore, you are far more likely to, to live and to get hurt right you can't and I, so do I pit push her to at least drink you know is that allowed what if I, I get her those 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 drinks that she likes it'll give her the, I, I don't know if she'll drink them it'll give her an extra 250 calories a day in or game drinks I could do that. But even having cereal for breakfast and a, that 220 calorie thing of soup, you're still talking far under a thousand calories a day. She's still gonna lose weight like crazy. She's still gonna lose weight like crazy. I'm even more concerned that she doesn't drink enough because she always had liquid with her food. Get it? If she's not having food, she's not having liquid. She would have liquid with food even if she wasn't thirsty. When you're a senior, you lose your sense of thirst. The other night, she's like, I'm not thirsty when I knew she'd had hardly anything to drink all day. By the time you're thirsty, you're dehydrated. For whatever reason, maybe because we're fucking cursed, you lose your, I read it, you lose your sense of thirst when you're a senior. Seniors have to be pushed to drink or they're going to be chronically dehydrated and in danger of all sorts of things that come along with being chronically dehydrated, okay?
I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can guarantee you, though, anything that would test her right now um, would um, show her chronically dehydrated because she's not drinking enough, and I know she's not. I know it. big news flash. I can't force her to drink either. She wouldn't drink eight ounces of water for me even when I said it. I was crying. It's killing me. It's killing me. Fact is, something easily bad could happen to her. And that's the bottom line. But I did everything in my power. No one could say I didn't. If everyone's aware of the situation, I even gave the red light, send the police if you want. Worst case scenario, they don't take her against her will, but at least we tried. And they didn't send the police. I guess they expect me to do it, which I'm not going to, as we already established, and that's when we know why. But if she tries skipping these appointments next week, I, I know they'll send someone here. Then they'll realize that it really is, you know, she, she needs to go to these appointments. The doctor one I plan to go with, or even if I just wait outside. Um, the psychiatry one is first, and we all know that that this person who doesn't give a fuck about my mom and who I can't stand and my mom doesn't like is just gonna say, okay, we need to drug her up more. That's all he's gonna say. Or he's gonna decide to section her or, or, or at least send her to the hospital. You know? As Joe said, and that woman from my mom's church said, Nobody gives a fuck anymore. They have to pretend to care, but they really don't care. I mean, like the professionals. I'm not allowed to say what Joe said or that woman said, so we'll just leave it at that. You who know, you know what I'm talking about, and you who are clueless, well. Those people have probably stopped watching my videos anyway. Now that I'm no longer fun. I did listen to my music today, but again, not my fast fun songs, only my because I had to go to the dentist, so I'd take buses, I'd walk, I'd take buses. I listen to my music. Not the fun songs. Just my three door sound, you know, staples that from decades ago. More than two decades ago, I believe. Kryptonite when I'm gone and lose her. And Bob Seger is still the same. No fun song, no love song. Nothing I can pretend to. I can fantasize to, but things I'll never have. Two amazing reasons to to count. When one is unable to barely, barely, barely breathe and holding on, hanging on by a single thread, 
you know, not even sex, let alone romance is in the cards for that person, okay? That's just reality. still tempted to drink again, just to, just very, in a very limited manner, because I never officially quit, I'm not one that would ever go to AA or anything like that, I never officially quit. So, at the market, again, like I've told you, here in Massachusetts, and they have it in other states, I found out from different management and whatnot, because they did it at Walmart one time, and I wasn't expecting them to, I didn't know, and I talked to a really nice female manager, and I said, I said, yeah, this, this, this food item rang up wrong, but I know you're not a, a super, I don't know if you, if that, that, that Massachusetts that I thought was law, I found out it wasn't law, it's just it's something that stores opt into. So little stores, smaller stores don't opt into it and they're not required to do it. Um, but in little stores I never push the issue anyway. Not even like in like a CVS or something, I never, you know. But if something rings up wrong, I expect to get it at the correct price and I had someone give me a real hard time about that before, and I held my ground while I was disgusted. If, if, if the sign says blah, 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 and it rings up, not that sign price. This wasn't even like a little sale sign they forgot to take down. It was an actual ticket on the thing. You need to give it to me for the price it says. That, that's the law. You know? But the whole thing where you get one item free... That's not a law, it's something they opt into. And again, it's to keep stores honest. It's to keep stores honest from just constantly overcharging customers because of carelessness, right? From a customer's viewpoint. But anyway, I found out that time, and I just I just casually said, did it, because I noticed after the fact, like, like, this rang up wrong, and I wanted the price it was supposed to be, and I showed the manager the sign. I didn't say it at the register. I didn't want to deal with it. Sometimes cashiers can be vicious and just, like, snide. It's just awful, you know? I don't like that. So I just let it go through and asked the manager. And she's like, oh, yeah, we we, um, we do that, too. But, but different times I've heard, like, like, even other states do different things. Um one time a manager who wasn't a main manager and I want to complain about it, it was a front floor manager at Target gave me such a hard time even though they had the sign displayed at their service desk that you get the item for free oh my god gave me so vicious towards me had me in tears almost I reported him he was so mean to me I couldn't even believe it you'd think it was coming out of their pocket Oh my, I just couldn't stand it. And of course I got apologized to by a higher up, but the damage was already done to me. Awful, treated me like shit. And they had the sign displayed. If the item is marked, rings up different than what the sign says. And again, it wasn't a sign, it was an actual price they had. It wasn't even like, oh, we've got to take down the sale price, but even that comes when they forget to take down the signs. For sale items, they're separate signs. This was an actual thing on the ticket. And they they opt into these things, these big stores, to keep themselves from be to be honest and to to keep be on the toes because it's not right. If if and if someone like me never says anything, then that per, that the thing could continuously be charged wrong, continuously. And what they're supposed to do, if they're doing their job, which today that person did not do his job, right? He's pissed that it's happening. I'm pissed that it's happening. But again, 
I'm not going to be like this good little girl and just, just overlook it and be overcharged. I'm not going to do that. I'm not obligated to do that. And anyone thinks I should be obligated to do that can fuck themselves, you know? But they're supposed to fill out a form so it gets fixed. So the next person and the next person and the next person after that for, for months or even forever is going to be overcharged. This person didn't fill out that little ticket, I guarantee you. I'll end up getting this gym drink again for free. But the next time it happens, when I go in there again, I will bypass everything. I will go to the store manager. Or, okay. I've been going to the store for a decade. I'll go to the store manager and say, you know, I was in here last week. And the person, I know the person's name, I won't call him out on it, but I'll say, he should have taken the sign down because you're still overcharging and I'm going to get it free again today. Okay? It's these drinks that are, um, there's a more, and I know what it's going on. They just put it in the system wrong. Sometimes it's just a sign that wasn't taken down. This they put in the system wrong, that's all. How I know that is because I've been getting these drinks periodically. And these drinks are um, organic. And the dark chocolate high, high protein is about 70 cents more. It's, it's, it's more, it's almost a dollar more than the ones that aren't as high a protein, okay? Now, the drinks themselves went up in price. But the other two are always cheaper than the high protein ones, say. So they have a, I believe that the sign is correct. That's the price it should be. They put it in the system wrong. Um, but it'll never get fixed. And I even said to the guy, but I know he did. And I said, take, make sure you take down the sign. So you're not, so, you know. And I, if they don't, then I'll get it free again. But I'm not going to deal with regular employees. When I see that that's still up like that, and I know it's going to scan wrong, um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll bring it up to the register and say, can you tell me the price of this? Have them scan it without ringing it up, and then I'll have my proof, and then I'll just talk to management. And I'll say, you know, I'm going to get this, for, I'm gonna, this is going to ring up wrong. It's, it's, I had them scan it, and I told your, your store guy, but he couldn't be bothered to do it last week or two weeks, whenever I do it again, and I'll get it free again. But anyway, I had a so-called friend, and I'm not wrong to do this. Again, the stores opt into this to keep themselves honest. We as customers matter. It's not just the store that matters. We matter, okay? I had this so-called friend for years who I let it slip in passing. When we were, you know how you let something slip in passing when you talk about something else, and if you bring up something else, maybe something happened, at, and then you bring up that, the friend got furious and said, you know, that's, you, you get the item free, you tell him to get it for free. I said, yeah, that's, 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 that's the law. Or, or, or at that time, I thought that's the law. That's what stores opt into. It's like a law. They call it a law. Whenever I talk to them, I'm like, that's the law. But anyway, furious with me. You know, Laura, and it's years, like six, six years, friends, acquaintances, not friend that you best friend best buddy but someone not not just a casual acquaintance you know you don't tell them everything but you share some personal stuff you know Laura if 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 I didn't know you were a good person I would think you were a real scumbag who says that to a so-called friend you've known and has indicated caring about you and you've indicated caring about that person for years fuck it all look seriously I know the pandemic has changed people, but it hasn't changed me, okay? I still care about people. I'm still exactly the same. So is Joe, right? You don't call, say if you didn't know me all these years that I'm a good person, I'm a scumbag for taking advantage of something like that. I hate when it happens, okay? I hate it. But I also, again, it's automatic thing that they do. They give you the one item free, and if they don't know, yeah, I do say it, but but a lot of them know it anyway. Okay, I have them arguing here and there with me, but generally they know. Today I said I get this for free, and the, the guy didn't say, no, you don't, and then I have to talk to a manager. Okay, they know. They know. And I only ever knew because years ago here in Massachusetts, someone gave it to me for free, 
a manager had come over when it was ringing, and, and I just wanted the difference in price of an item years and years ago. And I'm like, why are you giving this to me for free? And they're like, it's the law. Turns out it isn't the law, but the store is made to think it's the law because the store is opted into it and they want their employees to follow it. And as far as those employees are concerned, it is the law. But I have had people argue with me. They don't display the sign anymore. They used to. They used to have it small signs. I don't know if they do it at Target. They probably don't. They probably stopped having the sign. And a lot of people aren't aware of it. A lot of people don't take advantage of it. But today when we were waiting for that guy to go check on that to see that I was right, right, the woman behind me, I said, yeah, he's checking on that thing. I said, I hate when this happens. What she said, she's like, yeah, every week I'm in here because things rang up wrong on my receipt. I'm like, you didn't notice it at the time. She's like, no, they're going so fast and whatever. I notice it afterwards and I come back. But it gets tricky because if it's something where they had a sign up for, they should have taken it down and they just forgot. Um, you, you, they have to go by the benefit of the doubt, but they're not going to argue anyway, probably. I just do it right then, always. I don't I pay attention. I don't come back. I'm sorry. I look at my receipt afterwards. I don't always notice when the ring is up. I look at my receipt afterwards, and then I go check on my check for myself to make sure I'm not wrong. Because sometimes I might have seen something wrong because I don't look up at the fine print and maybe something was under something then, but in the fine print it's not that sign, right? But how my friend, it's no longer my friend, I didn't want anything to do with this person after saying I would think you're a scumbag. You can think things, you keep it to yourself and it's not right anyway, okay? You don't say that out loud. And when he, he see I'm hurt, the person was like, like, well, would you rather I pretend it's great? No, motherfucker. You don't have to pretend you approve. I don't need your approval. If you're a friend and you don't approve, you know, I, everybody steals music, is that right? You think you're allowed to do that just because these people are rich? What I'm doing is totally legal, and I don't ever steal music. So you're, you're double standard. I don't say that. I was just n near tears that this person's supposed to care about me for all these years and has shown, even given me rides before and stuff. That's what someone is not pretending, I would think, to be your friend. I don't know. She's changed. But nevertheless, the person feels like, well, you know, it's hard to, to work in this industry. And, and basically, you're... You're, you're penalizing somebody for, it's just an error if it's wrong in the, the system and, and you, it's wrong on a sign or somebody who's working really hard forgets to take down the sign alright I'll give you that but, but, but it's also not fair to the customers like what do you want from me is it fair that we get overcharged? If we now none of us ever pointed out again, I bet not that if none of us ever and then and the store loses a lot of the store has plenty of money or they wouldn't have to into it, they're major stores. But if none of us ever did that, stores would get away with just constantly having errors, constantly overcharging customers. And I believe there was a huge scandal with the supermarket in California a long time ago. I don't know if it was Ralph's, it, it might have been some, but some, but whatever, where they were doing it on purpose and they were caught. There was a huge scandal, I remember that too. They were intentionally overcharging customers. So we matter too. I'm sorry you're stressed out working in this industry and it, and you, you want to, you know, if you went on YouTube, you'd see all these people that, with, with customers who give them a hard time. They want to commit suicide. But, all right, but we have a right to not be overcharged because people make mistakes. I'm sorry, but that's life. I am not wrong, and I'm not a scumbag for doing it. You're, you're doing illegal stuff, stealing all the music. And you justify it because those people are rich. So, you know, that wasn't the only thing this person did to me. And again... It was since the pandemic, so, you know. I don't care. I'm not going to be treated like shit. I have a hard enough time in this life. Normally, I would be telling this person some of the things going on with my mom, but that ain't happening. I am not even going near the person anymore. But I'm hurt. How would I not be hurt? Story of my fucking life hard. Story of my fucking life. Can't trust anybody. Can't trust anybody. People can pretend. I don't pretend. 
that's why even when that bitch waved, waved at me once I was, after months of the broken foot and I could finally walk again, I was out walking home, I waved like she hadn't broken my heart and just totally abandoned me in my time of need. And later, years later, I found out, but, but that one tried to make up for it. You, you have to understand, I'm sorry I did that to you. I'm like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I wouldn't let her explain. When I finally, years later, let her explain, her explanation was that the other one ordered her to. Oh, my God, what are you, five years old? What are you, in grade school? Don't talk to Laura. She needs to contact her aunt, even though she told me her aunt would, would like to see her dead. I'm not going to believe that. Your aunt doesn't know you have a broken foot. Contact her. She'll help you. My aunt wants me dead. Oh, my God, are you that ignorant. I cannot trust anybody. That's why I have to be alone. Just have to. People pretend everything is a fucking lie. Do you understand? Everything in this life is a goddamn fucking lie. Even, even TikTok now. I was on Inside Edition. It has a thing that, that's a filter where the, the, the most unattractive person can can be made to look abs and absolutely attractive, and if you have some attractiveness, you can be made to look like a friggin' supermodel goddess. Okay, and if you use that filter to try to to lure somebody and you use it on whatever, and you're n that's not you. And the person, if you meet them in person, they're gonna find out. But there are people just like I watched this movie Fat Chance with this obese, and it worked out good for her because it's Christian and whatnot. And but but. She pretended on, on, she was morbidly obese, and she pretended she used her roommate, attractive roommate's picture, because she figures no one will ever give me a chance, but I figure if they get to know me, then they'll overlook the fact that, that I'm, I'm this. So it was all based on deceit. It turned out that she wound up meeting somebody, and, and then she lives happily ever after and has three kids and, and drops a lot of weight, and they show the, it's a true story, so they show how she looks now, and of course she's, she's, she was really attractive and this, that, or whatever, but, but most of the time it's not going to work out like that. Just because this person gets to know you, and then they finally meet you in person and see that physical attractiveness to someone does matter. So it's a Christian movie, but it was all based on lies, and it kind of turned me off like that. It's just... She happened to be with a guy, and, and he was a thin, good-looking guy, but she happened to be with a guy who who got, did fall in love with her without ever meeting her, and then once he found out the truth. But most of the time, that won't happen. That's a fucking true fairy tale, okay? Most of the time, it won't fucking happen. You don't lie on your personal app profile and then meet someone and think, oh, well, 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 now that they've gotten to know me and they like me, then then it won't matter that I don't look like that. It's all based on deceit. I don't ever do it. Even when I've put on 10 pounds, I've changed my profile picture on my personal ads because I don't do play those fucking games that everybody plays in this life. Everybody is playing those fucking games except for me. And, you know, whoever else, needle in a haystack, you know. Needle in a fucking haystack to find anybody, even just as a friend, who isn't playing these fucking games. You were my friend and she told you I'm not talking to Laura, so you can't, and you, you abandoned me when I, my foot was broken and I had nothing and nobody.